Canadian restaurant chain Earl's may be hugely popular, but in April, its executives blundered when they made a bold announcement. Earl's will be the first restaurant chain in North America to serve certified humane beef in all of its restaurants. The problem? Certified humane beef is an American designation. Earl's sole supplier was in Kansas. Alberta beef was off the menu. Outrage came fast and furious. It's a slap in the face. A boycott Earl's hashtag was soon trending on Twitter as Canadian ranchers declared their beef was raised ethically. They just hadn't paid for the American certification. People in Canada are, you know, we're, we, we don't realize it, but we're pretty patriotic when it comes to supporting local businesses. Within days, Earl's reversed the decision. We made a mistake. Samsung surely wishes it could have reversed its problems so quickly. Pulled the phone out of my pocket, threw it onto the ground where it continued to smoke. With airlines everywhere still reminding passengers they can't fly with the Galaxy 7, Samsung's shocking screw-up is not fading away fast. I was just flying back from um, last week from Europe. Business professor David Soberman was recently on an Air Canada flight. In that plane, you had, I don't know how many people are on the plane, but it's like, I don't know, probably over 300. And they're all hearing Samsung phones aren't allowed on the, on the plane. What better way to remember 9-11 than with a twin tower sale? Right now, you Words can't, can't express the disgust consumers felt when this company in Texas used the 9-11 anniversary to sell mattresses. King mattress? Twin price. An apology was issued and the ad pulled. Only this version shot off a smartphone can be found nowadays. We'll never forget. And finally, the blunder that may have enraged the most Canadians by air miles. In July, a report from CBC News went viral, alerting consumers that some points were set to expire. People feel like they have earned something, and if you just take it away, that feels like a breach of contract. As thousands of cardholders rushed to redeem points, wait times to reach air miles by phone were two to three hours. Petitions, a class action suit, and a bill from Ontario lawmakers finally led to the company's decision to cancel the expiry policy. Toby Heaps publishes a magazine focused on responsible business practices. Everybody understands people make mistakes, companies make mistakes, um, but if you have the right intention, then you own up to it and you fix them, people, people you can actually um, enhance your trust and enhance your relationships with your customers. Analysts say the only way companies can recover trust with consumers is if they first make every effort to figure out what went wrong to ensure they never do it again, and then offer some sort of compensation to those who've been hurt by the blunder. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto.